So, back to the lodge. Matsur the Grim, honestly, a pretty nice guy as far as pirates go. I think I butted heads with his mentor once years back. Had the same kind of surprisingly hospitable vibe. Hey, you're underselling my harrowing escape from certain doom here. A little charm goes a long way when the knives are out. Depends on the question, but I'll give it my best shot. Let's see. I've been in Constellation for a long time, as you know. I enjoy cheese, my work, and long walks on unexplored planets. <laughs> what else did you want to know about? I think about it a lot. There's so many possibilities. Some wonderful, some terrifying. I'm not a fearful man, but I am just a man. And I'm keenly aware that this artifact could change my life. Or end it. Well, when I picked it up, I had no idea what it was. I knew it was something spectacular, though. I saw a vision. Flashing lights, the whole shebang. Well, he certainly means something. Because not everyone who touches the artifacts sees them. My first instinct was it was a message of some kind, like the Voyager records. Communication from a higher life form reaching out blindly into space. But now I'm wondering if the vision wasn't just sensory. My new theory is something's changed in us physiologically. As in not just a message from beyond, but a delivery. On Bendy? No, wait. It was Kazal. Uh, I can feel Lynn's admonishing stare boring a hole in my back. She's not actually standing behind me, is she? Well, point is, my story's probably a lot like yours. We dug a pit, found some really wonky readings, and followed them to the artifact. Sure. Like what? Let me know if there's anything else. Honestly, I was kind of rolling the dice with you. But hey, sometimes a bet pays off. Right. No worries. After this, you're kind of a pirate aficionado. Too soon? Hey there.
Hey, how are you? Oh, yeah. Thanks for reminding me. Can't wait to see if Noel's theory about the artifacts was correct. Yeah, what's up? Catch you later. Anything I can do for you? Okay, see you later. Good to see you joined up. You're part of something bigger now. Hope the Lodge is turning into a second home. Well, that's all I have, too. system. We rarely saw eye to eye in the best of times, and believe me true, these ain't the best of times. Spacers started raiding and it's been getting worse. Only a matter of time before they end us all. <laughs> Unless you're willing to help some hard-working, pig-headed settlers out. The League of Independent Settlers. Good meaning fools happy to set colonists up in an independent space. The promise is freedom. True freedom. If you can fend off all the spacers and pirates, the settled systems can throw at you. The winds and the banners are farmers like me. Jacqueline the mare and her daughter have some mining operation with dreams of hitting it big. I've tried in the past to get us to work together, but you don't join list unless you have a healthy dollop of obstinacy. Really? I had no idea. The Spacers have taken out the family's list satellites, so we can't even talk to each other. Isolate and eliminate a classic tale. You fix the Lopez satellite, and I'll open a secure channel, and we can sync up and get the lay of the land, and then get all of our satellites operational. This set us up with some secure communication satellites. Makes it hard for Riff Raff to pick us up. Well, in theory. The other families won't respond to communications on open channels. I figure if I didn't risk the distress call, we're all dead anyway. I have. Twice. I took out the old pickup. Last time I tried, I barely made it out alive. They're using the damn satellites as bait. My ship just isn't up for facing spacers, but yours, a whole different animal. Absolutely. I mean, don't expect much. Look around. Not exactly swimming in resources here. But hey, good luck.
Talk to Alvin, he's in charge. Hey, what's going on? So, back to the lodge? I see what you did there, Walter. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign of his work. Don't start, country. Wait, is that? <laughs> and to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library show. Now, look at them all. feel it a bit, can't you? Ever since I found the second one, I had the visions. Being around them is just comforting. So hey, I'm still not a hundred percent, plus I feel guilty dragging you into all of this. Why don't I stick around and help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe? It doesn't really matter to me. I never get too attached to ships. 
After the fifth or sixth time one blows up and you get marooned, the romance fades. Plus the frontier is a constellation ship. And you're one of us now. So it's just as much yours as mine at this point. Marvelous. I am at your service, Captain. What's up? Middle of something here. Galbank really wants the UC to know who's holding the purse strings, you know?
Open. The suspense is killing me. You come in with me. Prepare for immediate transport to our vessel. I've been authorized to inform you that you're being transferred to the UC Vigilance. You'll find out more when you get there. Other than that, I'm not at liberty to divulge any additional information. We have orders to transport you and your vessel to your final destination, the UC Vigilance. Any deviation from those orders on your part will be considered an act of hostility and will be met with aggressive force. Smart decision. Stand by to be transferred. I'm telling you, the Commander's got plans for this loser. Why else would he be going through all this trouble? I still don't understand why he trusts a criminal. Seems like too much of a risk. Stop worrying and keep an eye on our guest. I'll be right back. You just sit tight. The commander wants to have a little chat. The prisoner is ready, sir. Gathering is one of our top priorities around here. I also see that you mined on Vectera, and now you're with Constellation. You've certainly been quite busy. Oh, and look at that. Right at the bottom of this list is the criminal incident that landed you in my crossings. Good. You'll find that I'm a stickler for details, and I'd hate to discover that your file is complete. Now that we have that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Commander Kibwe Ikande, and I'm in charge of this operation for UC Sysdev. Are you familiar with what we do? United Colonies System Defense. Does that help you figure out exactly what it is we do? UC Sysdev is a division of the UC Navy. While they handle the big picture stuff, we deal with a very particular problem. The Crimson Fleet. That convict is where you enter the picture. No. No, you don't. Not yet, anyway. We've been prodding at the Crimson Fleet for years, trying to take them down one ship at a time. We barely scratched the surface. If we can get someone on the inside, we'd have a shot at finding a loose thread we can pull to bring it all down. It doesn't matter how I feel. I'm simply doing what's best for the security of the United Colonies. Look, I'm going to make this simple. Agree to work for UC Sysdev, and together we take down the Crimson Fleet. Refuse, and I tell these guys to throw you into the nearest lockup. Might even tack on an extra few hundred credits to your fine. Well, first of all, we'll forget about the infraction that landed you on the vigilance. Wipe the slate clean. Better still, depending on how well you do your job, we'll even kick in a few extra credits to offset any costs that the operation will incur. Or 
can throw all that away and end up back in jail with a hefty fine attached. Of course you have a choice. It's just stacked in my favor. So, what do you say? You going to work with me, or should I find someone else? You aren't leaving until I have an answer. Smart choice. I'm going to have one of my men escort you to the operations center. I strongly suggest that you don't give him any trouble. And don't bother trying to leave the ship. I think you'll find all access to the docking area is fully restricted. Instead of serving the time, gonna be the commander's new mole, huh? Going in on the trading a bunch of pirates. You've got a lot of guts. Still, it makes you wonder, especially with the stories that go around. Like the one about how the fleet deals with informants by lashing them to the hull of a ship and then slowly letting the air out of their suit. Could you imagine a worse way to go? I know I couldn't, but I wouldn't worry about it. Since the commander handpicked you, I'm guessing you can hold your breath for a really long time, right? Excuse me. This is as far as I go. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Ikande should be waiting for you. Yes, what? The Vigilance is our flagship. Where it goes, fleet run. Excuse me. Ah, there you are. Excellent. Now that we've established your level of cooperation with us, I want to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdef's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Whether this ship is impressive or not, you're the key element that we've been lacking. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. Good. I have just the right place for you to start. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Bowden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. Aurora is a Class A controlled substance that's illegal to transport outside of Neon, a city on Voli. Get caught with this stuff aboard a ship and you're looking at some serious fines. That's classified. Suffice to say that the smuggler who was previously hauling it will be spending the rest of their life in prison. You'd better hope so. Sersha won't be easy to dupe. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second-in-command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know.
Let's just say my superiors need proof that engaging the Crimson Fleet is a larger priority than they're willing to admit. If we shove enough concrete evidence under their noses, they'll have no choice but to allocate the resources that I've requested. At the same time, we can use the evidence to arrest members of the Crimson Fleet, weakening them enough to strike a fatal blow. Eager to get going? Good. Remember, this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. Fine. Whatever gets the job done. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdev, You'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path, and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. The Crimson Fleet doesn't follow the rules. They only abide by one theme. Money. All of their morals and social graces fall by the wayside in pursuit of their greed. At first glance, this can appear quite enticing, so I'm warning you not to get lured into their trap. Think you can handle that? To put it simply, you can't go into every situation with guns blazing. Think before you act. Calculate what you're doing and pull the trigger only when it's absolutely necessary. At the end of the day, your primary goal is taking down the Crimson Fleet. That's the greater good. Well, you better learn quick. Otherwise, I'll start looking for someone to take your place. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence-gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here, and good luck. All we know is that she's been with the Trade Authority for years which means she's been privy to some seriously shady deals. She's shrewd and she's diligent. The only reason we were able to connect her with the Crimson Fleet at all was thanks to an informant. I'm afraid she's the best lead we've got. For your own safety, nobody but myself and the crew of the Vigilance will be aware that you're working for the United Colonies. Basically, if you land in jail, you're going to have to deal with the fines. That's easy to answer. You don't. We'll be monitoring your activities from the vigilance and attempting to keep it within your vicinity. When you feel you've gathered enough evidence and at the completion of your assignments, head back here for a debrief. Beyond that, you're completely on your own. Dismissed. What's new? All righty. <clears throat> hey. Yes, what? Yes? Pardon? All right. We don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? Well, since it isn't every day we stumble across a criminal's fully written confession, we need to build a case against our suspects. 
The more evidence we acquire, the stronger our case becomes. And knowing the Crimson Fleet, they'll leave plenty of evidence for you to find. Well, you better. Commander Akande's entire operation is resting on your shoulders. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. For the sake of the settled systems, I hope you're right. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. What? No. It's personal. It has nothing to do with you. Just stick to the mission and you'll be fine. That's all we're asking. Oh, before you go, there's one more thing. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return, as compensation for your efforts. Well, that's just it. You're not career military, are you? And speaking frankly, you're completely out of pocket during this operation. You'll be paying for your own supplies and other unexpected incidentals. So if I were you, I'd stop asking questions and accept the compensation. Commander Akande came up with the idea. He was concerned you might not help us simply because it was the right thing to do. All right, we've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. Don't worry, the container's been registered with UC Security, so you shouldn't have any trouble. Even if you're scanned. Of course, if we find out you tried to sell it to someone outside the boundaries of this particular operation, well, I don't think I need to tell you the consequences of making that mistake. Not really, no. I've learned to keep my personal experiences separate from the job. <sighs> That's a fine point, but in my defense, I was under orders to make sure we weren't pulling some kind of psycho into the mix. And honestly, there are far bigger things at stake than my personal feelings towards the Crimson Fleet. Let's just stick to the job at hand and concentrate on the mission. But, uh, maybe we can talk about it some other time, okay? We'll be here if you need us. Howdy. that technically suitable air. Oh good, you're up. Need a moment or are you good to go?
underground or caves has been a class. Sidonia may be rough around the edges, but it is utterly monumental for humanity. If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. Octai and Bayar. He's the head of our Sidonia branch. If you want to do some trading, he's the one you need to be talking to. I'm busy. And by sensitive, I'm guessing you mean something you don't want UC security sticking their noses into. I can probably help you with that. What have you got for me? Hmm. Aurora, huh? Nice. A little too hot to handle, though. What else you got? Well, hang on there. We haven't even started to negotiate yet. No, they're right. What they didn't tell you is that I have a self-preservation streak a kilometer wide. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unload that stuff for you. Glad we could put things into perspective. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Thinking of something else. Uh, yes, Captain. Hey, you looking for anything in particular? It Take your time. Cool. That's what we do here.
Come back anytime. We have the tech to instantly jump across the universe. Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sedonia heard you! Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we can help you with this. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But you're going to have to do something for us first. You're a clever one, aren't you? Let's just say I have a certain influential affiliation. And leave it at that. Basically, you want that Aurora moved, I'm your guy. Right down to business, and no small talk. I like it. That wasn't part of our deal. But I bet you're about to say it's a non-negotiable addendum. As a matter of fact, yes. Yes, I am. Non-negotiable addendum. I like that. Now listen up, because I'm not going to repeat myself. I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. He probably spent it all on booze, not that I blame him. Either way, I want that money back. What do I need to do here? Write you an instruction manual? You can do this loud, you can do this quiet. I don't care. I just want my goddamn money, and I want this guy to remember who he screwed over. Perfect. His name's Carl Fielding. I think you'll find him wandering around the Deimos Miners' quarters. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Just look for the most miserable looking guy in the entire place. Something I can help you with? Adler Camp. Who the heck is that? Adler, you said? Uh, nope. I think you have me mixed up with someone else. <laughs> uh, look, I'm tired. It's been a long day in the mines. I just want to go home, wash off the dust, and relax. This has been fun, though. Whatever. Uh, hey, hey, now. <laughs> Take it easy there. Let me think about that person you mentioned. Uh, Adler, was it? Hmm? Oh, wait, you mean that, Adler? Yeah, sorry. I thought you were talking about someone else. <laughs> I told him I'd pay up next week when Deimos cuts our next profit share check. I'll even bring it to him personally. Hmm? Sound good? Yeah? Come on! Give me a break! What the... Look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now, okay? You can't squeeze blood from a stone. You know? Right? Technically, there are several natural geologic phenomena that can stimulate the blood effect.
What games? Why are you doing this to me? I don't have the money. No way! I'm already working my fingers to the bone! Great. That's all I need. Uh, to become a charity case. Uh, how much lower do you expect me to go, huh? What? Oh my god. He might come after them? Because of me? I hadn't even thought of the possibility. Please, tell Adler I'm sorry for trying to wiggle out of the debt. I didn't have much of a choice. The office of Governor Hurst would like to remind all Sidonian citizens to do their part. Got what you want. Why can't you just leave me in peace? to be a problem anymore? Or did he get the message? Nice. Nice! You're kind of a natural at this. Leaning on deadbeats comes easy to you. I like that. You know, if you like this kind of work, I can get you more. A lot more. You think you can handle running with my, uh, associates? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I like your style. All right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Oh, and I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you, too. Don't spend all that cash in one place. 